Nice pickup. We got it. We in there. These two have quite the history. And it's quite the one-sided history. Tyra has quite a large number of wins versus Ned. And Ned, specifically, has not really been able to find an answer to the Bayonetta. But now, guess what his answer is? Uh, SDI up. Mm, well, that. But look at the character. He's in Cloud all day. But who's he playing now? I don't know. I missed it. What did he do? What's he doing? Tell me. You'll I'm excited. Um, I'm going to let you see. We got another monkey in we top eight. Monkey. <laughs> so many monkeys. Ned, someone like kicked over that barrel of monkeys on the way to Deluge. <laughs> and it's just too many monkeys, man. We have a barrel full of monkeys there. And Deluge. And this is again going back to that like on paper theory that Ned or uh, that Diddy Kong should do well in this matchup. He's been practicing this against uh, the other Banez in Chicago as like Bushi and uh, Wiseman. I can't think of the other ones off the top of my head. In case we have ourselves a best of five, this is Losers Finals. And they, they started at Lilad? This is not Losers Finals, this is Semifinals. Losers Semifinals, correct? Yeah, this is Losers Semifinals. This is the last best of three. Okay, so this is the last, okay. And now here comes the Witch Twist. Okay, he gets out of that. Uh oh. Bam! There we go. Everyone hold your breath whenever that happens. Oh yeah, Witch Twist? Or no, oh sorry, which time? Which time? That's such a scary moment at every point in the game. The Tyroi, he's looking clean at the moment. But interesting to say that they started at Lilac Cruise this time around. Mm -hmm. Well, it's you know that they're playing like really, really try hard when they started Lilac Cruise, because like a lot of people dislike this stage. <laughs> Whenever you're friends with the guy, you're just like, let's go smash him first, it'll be fun. I suppose. But Lilac is a try hard moment stage. That's a pretty good stage for Diddy Kong here, actually. Yeah, surprised to see Bandana allowing a Diddy Kong to, to, to go there. But hey, who knows? Maybe Tyro is just that confident in his ability to win this game. Tyro has interesting opinions on his stages, so I'll be happy to pick his brain after this. That is true. And we can already see it. Diddy Kong at 140% to Bandana's 56. Like, he's definitely got an advantage. Mm -hmm. He's doing something right. But here, it takes one or two grabs to really just get Diddy Kong back in this. And here, yeah, Ned's playing super patient. Gets punished off of that down tilt. That frame three down tilt of Diddy Kongs. That should be stock here. Ned takes first blood. Attempted to go with that witch time, but just missed it. Down tilt, up tilt. Yep. Up air. Alright, you're fifty percent. We'll take it. Quick kill confirm right back. Alright, so we've reset the stocks. Isn't that so it's so weird. Like Bayonetta has that kill confirm too. On top of like all the combo kill confirms she has. She just yeah. has like a wealth of options. So many options. That's what makes any top tier top tier, really. Oh yeah, certainly. Then mm. holding the middle of the stage at the moment. Ned, he really doesn't want to commit to the middle of the stage. He almost wants to camp these edges. Ned doing a nice job of just avoiding those, those combo starters. Mm. Yep. Jumping and right around him. You gotta do better than starting a combo with heel slide on Ned. He knows how to shield it. He knows not to, how to roll into that. That move catches roll so well. Uh oh. All right, here comes a combo. No, good avoidance there. And that right there is something that we actually are seeing a lot less of from Ned. The other two uh, ditties that we were seeing were basically almost handed Witch away. Which time? Yep, there it is. Is that it? No, he DI'd properly. Great DI. The other ditties were throwing away their bananas for safety to, to be able to get to safety, but then the bayonetta has a banana. Whereas Ned, for the most part, has been has has banana control most of this game. Yeah, and that's for sure. what's keeping him alive. Here it comes though. Uh, look at that SDI. Yeah, over to the right. Ned's got it. He's got it in his pocket. This is the best DI we've seen so far against Bayonetta today. See, Tyro is getting used to training people to SDI up. But, but that is there not it is. always the case. He's got the tech. There you go. He's showing, he's saying, Tyro, you've you got to do better than that. Showing you that you can actually play this game. Mm -hmm. There is a reason why he is in loser semis. Another so interesting in note, um, something we saw with Hugo versus these Bayonettas. Ooh! Just missed the up smash. I was cringing for him. Oh, Thank neither player wants that. to commit. Monkey flip. Not enough. Uh oh! He covered, he covered the platform. I like that. That was a good option. I think there's two, like, this is actually where Rana can kind of struggle to kill. Is these, uh, witch twist combos, and I think that the down tilt up air we saw earlier won't connect, really. Ran in, shielded, grabbed. Too much rage. 
push back. Oh, this is anything can happen, folks. This game is not going to end on a Bayo death combo. He's not even worried about his banana too much right now. He just knows one up smash. To, no, he just one wants the space. Smash, one back air, anything. He's going to take it. Back air comes out. There's the back air. And that looks mad. Well spaced back air. He eats that monkey flip and takes the game. It does. Tyre looking to slay a third monkey today. And wants, he's hungry for the fourth. He has to go a long way to get to him, though. He didn't want to eat that back He just wanted to eat another banana. Ned is confident in Lilat. He is confident that this is going to be the stage that pilots into victory against his nemesis, Tyre, who they both, also, interestingly enough, they're very young. Tyre just in college at University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. Okay. Um, Ned is even younger. He's like 16 or 17. No kidding. Um, both Wi-Fi Warriors for the longest time. They entered the scene at about the same time. Tyra debuting with his uh, Sheik, the version of the character he played. Then he played some Meta Knight and some Cloud before finding his way to Bayonetta. And now he is known nationally for his Bayonetta play. Ned, he is starting to make a name for himself here in the Midwest. Starting with his DSS, which is, even though he doesn't play very much anymore, super crisp. Right. It's very nice to see the younger players starting to really pick up. This is the new generation sort of, of Smash newer, Brothers. Yeah, this is definitely a newer eSport, so to have newer players involved, that's that's good. Full jab, and he cancels out of it by falling off the platform. Ned's still really kind of feeling out how much he can get away with here versus Bayonetta. Like, what stuff he can punish at what times. I feel like Bayonetta has actually been outplaying him this set, this stock. Just it's it's close. These two generally play very close, tight games. Oh, right now, good DI again, Ned. He has got it. We saw Demitis struggle with the DI. We saw JJ Rocket struggle with the DI, but Ned has it. And that is taking away a very important tool in Bayonetta's arsenal here. If somehow Bayonetta manages to pull this off, though, we're going to have to see how Zenodo handles the DI. Well, night first. That's true. Don't count those chickens, ladies and gentlemen. That's true. This monkey is off stage. Is he too low? No, man. Nice wow! Fun. What a turnaround, Ned. He gets first blood again. Using that rage. When he looked dead. <laughs> he looked... You're down he, and out. he looked edge guarded. Once but there's another back. backer. Catches the back of those heels. Even game. That again, you see, he does not hold the middle of the stage here. He does not care for it. He's going full on aggressive here. There's no neutral game to be played in this in this game. He's oh, just no. going all out. And he's just got a banana here. No banana to be had. The bayonetta like, has a banana. I feel like the first game he's doing a lot better at maintaining that, using the banana control. But this game, he's just going crazy. Another, another notch in Diddy's corner in this match is like banana. And, can struggle to get stuff off the banana a little bit. Like, I guess the best thing you can go for is like heel slide. But it's hard to run up and witch twist after you throw a banana at somebody. True. If anyone can do it, it's Tyra. So we'll see here if he can make any mileage happen with the banana. He, it needs to win one more game to make it to losers finals. Oh, missed punish. All right, you're not gonna miss this one. We got even. Oh, he gets the read though. Doesn't even DI the. Good game there from Tyroy. That one didn't even come down to the. I don't know if you saw that. It didn't even come down to the up air. It didn't. The witch twist at the top just knocked him straight off the top. Had just enough rage. Didn't, didn't need it at all. I think that the Diddy Kong actually, like as an adaptation for Ned, is really like a great pick. And we saw like the beginnings of it, but it's still pretty fresh. Right. So we'll see how that advances in the future over here at Events to Compete. And I'm going to do a minute and plug the other Chicago stream to see him at, which is Galloping Ghost.